And Bruno says, hello from Brazil. Hello, Bruno. Yesterday I planned to have a romantic date with a person and then at the last moment the person sent me a cancelling message because uh, she was feeling sick and ill. I said that everything was fine and I went back home because I was already at the meeting place. Ah, how can we deal with uh, this kind of frustration? I'm not saying that is wrong to get sick. It's okay. Yes, I understand. I understand. I understand. But I found myself sad anyway. Yes, and and you are, uh, you have all the right to be sad because that is how it affects us. Uh, in fact, it is not you alone having experienced this. Almost every one of us who have a date. Uh, because the when there is a, a there is a there is a, a secretion in the brain dopamine which alerts you of something good is happening uh, naturally secrete when you're excited about going somewhere doing something or you just meet a new person and this dopamine is created because it makes you feel it alerts your mind it alerts you it's a it's mind's way of alerting you telling you something good is happening so you get elated you get in this level of high and because of that and it's such a good thing you start worrying about what if it doesn't happen because usually brain is looking for trouble and is usually searching what if things don't go the way it is the way I like it to be, the way that I expect it to be, to go, or the way they are. We always are anxious about such things because our brain is looking for trouble. Its job is to look for trouble, so we'll be prepared, and so we won't be disappointed, and it's trying to protect us. And especially when we have already have this, uh, uh, this chemical created in our mind because of the natural secretion of something good is happening or something exciting that we expect the dopamine we are already there and so anything other than that or more of a uh, more of that being uh, exuded by our brain or oxytocin or serotonin also be coming into the picture would be a downer so the easiest way to get uh, disappointed is when the date calls in and cancels whether she is sick or he she is not or whatever the situation is or they just cancel because they changed their mind it just pisses us off why because we had already already set up something if you have a party and you go and clean the house and buy goodies and put the music on and decorate the place maybe and uh, you know everything is prepared sandwiches and so on and then the guests uh, cancel or they mix up the dates and don't show up you get pissed because you had organizations you went through emotionally you also go through this organization your brain gets ready you get excited you plan on what to do what to say you get creative in your mind and you create plans and all these uh, organizational skills and efforts that you put gets all uh, to be the reason for you to be pissed off when it's canceled for any reason I don't care if he, uh, she or he is sick whatever your date is or your situation is I don't care about that you just get disappointed because you know you were ready for that and uh, that's a disappointing thing so after a while you get weatherized every date that you have you're excited but you always think okay well if it didn't happen it's like I didn't have this date so how was I before I was fine so no big deal yeah Just think about it that way but um, the frustration is there and that's normal there's nothing really to be said it's always going to be the same every time you have a date and uh, you're worried about uh, somebody's going to cancel uh, to the point that it happens so often that every time that you have a date and it's not going to be canceled you're just anxious there's going to be canceled 
It's like it's like when somebody follows you with a you know with a little needle like in birthday parties when you stick a needle I don't know if you guys did or not stick a needle into the skin of the uh, fingertips and we just played like we're touching we're playing with the balloons that were already in the birthday parties but it would burst because there was a little <laughs> needle sticking out of our fingertips nobody could see it yeah now after a while you actually figure out that this is the needle and if you try to do this to each other you know there's a needle there you start running away even it's not hitting and after a while even there's no needle you just do this and everybody runs away because they already have been conditioned to think that there could be a needle so now when you get a date you're conditioned to think it could be cancer so you're always apprehensive until it actually happens but don't let that bother you that's part of this whole thing so what uh, really it's disappointing but it wasn't gonna be like make or break your life your life is still there dates and relationships are fragment of life not the whole of life if you think of it this way then the disappointment of it if it happens is very minor it won't be as big as you we tend to think it is it's just about pleasure okay i'm not having that pleasure that i was expecting to have today on this date or getting to know this this date uh, but it's not the end of the world but because there's a pleasure involved there you are disappointed because we're always looking for uh, spending our life with pleasure of doing something pleasure and pain so don't worry about it it's not a big deal i don't think there's no cure about it. It's part of life. No?